Hello there, Sir Fancy here, and welcome in this video where I will show you how to do some real magic in Unreal Engine VR. Let's look at it. Okay, in previous magical tutorial we have created effects like this and spawn there where you want, but now in this tutorial I will show you how to add here some actual magical stuff. So first of all let's fire fireball and do some clear real damage with it. And if you are done with fireball you can create some real explosions and let it all kinda explode, because let this, letting things explode is fun. But you may be asking why are these dudes here? Well the thing is that they are simply here to be killed, because right now you can hit them with fireball and actually kill them. And after that let's put there some kind of explosion. Because explosions guys, who doesn't like explosions? I am feeling like I am enjoying this way too much. In this video I am going to continue with project that I have started in previous video, which you can watch somewhere here in the description or in this weird eye, let's say there, and let's look at what uh, we have accomplished. So you can switch different kind of spells in your hand and spawn them somewhere like this. Okay, and also you can do this kind of spell if you want to shoot just something. And this time around we will actually switch it and start with this spell, because now let's set it so we can actually do something with it. You of course don't need to watch previous video, but I would definitely recommend it so you know what's going on, etc. Alright, let's start in content, object, magic and create here a new actor. And that will be called fireball. Fireball, open it. And first of all let's add component and it will be particle system. Put it right here and set it to fireball. And fireball to do strong. Okay, that's fine. And you can see that this one is set to loop, which means that it won't ever die unless you actually destroy it. And that's fine. So let's see if we can add here some movement. So we will add projectile movement. Oh, come on. That was too many letters. <laughs> projectile movement. And let's uh, set initial speed to about. 150, uh, 100, uh, 1500 and maximum to whatever you want, just add one and bunch of zeros. And let's set projectile scale, let's leave it like that for now, just to see what it will do. And you can see if I click on simulate, it will go down, which is not necessarily what I look for. So let's set projectile, let's set gravity to 0 0.1, 0 0.01 and that looks fine, that looks fine. Maybe you can go to 0 0.05. You of course need to know what kind of spell you are creating. Okay, and play. Ah, that looks that looks kind of fine. So first of all let's set it so it, we can break these editor cubes. That's actually really simple. Let's take fireball and add here collision. Sphere collision. Make sure it's under default scene root and Let's make it a little bit smaller. Click on the okay. Make sure that you click on the sphere. Oh no, it's under it's under particle system for some reason. I want it under default scene room. Pile and set sphere radius to much smaller, something like that. Thirteen. Let's go with fifteen actually. And important thing is right here in collisions. Let's set it to block all. So now it reacts like a regular physical mesh. Okay, let's delete this one and just put it here, or maybe a little bit higher, and try to simulate it. And you can see that it works just fine. That's what I, what we want. So the next thing will be actually to make it sure, make sure that we can kill somebody with it. So let's add here some assets for that. Add feature or content pend, and we will uh, on pack, and we will add here third person character. And that will add a whole third person blueprint template. Let's go in content, third person BP, blueprints and third person character. Yep, that's fine. And if you just let it now, it won't do pretty much anything. So what we will open it is edit third person character and press the like button because that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> okay, that was just a bit of a joke. It wasn't, do it. And right here in third person character, let's, create, let's add custom event. Add a custom event and set it to that. And now we will simply enable Ragdoll to let it kind of die once you will hit it with that fireball. So we, we will start by set all body simulate, simulate physics. But before that we actually need to enable collision. So set 
collisions enabled and set new type to collisions enabled query and physics and for some reason it created here something else i didn't want that so let's set it to set all buddies simulate physics yes that should be it connect it and enable new simulate set all buddies below below physics blend weight yep that should be fine connect it and let's set it to okay zero oh one sorry one yeah that should work just fine and now we need to take the fireball make sure it will hit him edit fireball and add here new collision sphere collision all right sphere collision right here and make sure that it's a little bit bigger than that physical one all right let's set it to for example 30. make sure it's under default scene root as well and with that sphere one you can of course name it i'm too lazy for that let's go to event begin overlap and cast to third person character connect it to other actor and we will call that custom event which we've created which was called that compile and see what it will do and it looks kind of cool look at that you can hit him with it and it will just send him flying somewhere that's cool that's really cool we can add a bit of a randomness to it so click on that third person character and we will add here to that mesh no we will actually add it add radial impulse target will be set to self and origin should be of this mesh so get world location to origin compile and oh we need to actually set the target sorry my bad uh, doo -doo -doo. and radius will be around 30 and strand 100 that should kind of change it that's good that's so cool and if i put it lower <laughs> that's actually really cool i like it and one more thing we can do once it will collide we can add here another emitter for example some kind of explosion so right here put here oh no actually we will do it after casting you know what completely after casting it doesn't really matter but just to be sure spawn emitter at location it will be location of this third person character so we'll get world transform doesn't really matter split structure pin connect to location and put set it to explosion p explosion that's cool and see what it will do that's cool that's super cool compile and that's, oh all right we will have to set it to place of that collision you know what let's let's do it actually simply it uh, should explode on the place where is this collision this sphere one so we will get its world location get the world location compile and now it should be fine yeah that's that's good cool. You can f you can see that the fireball still goes somewhere we will fix that simply by taking it and once it will be collide we will wait for a short time 0 0.2 should be fine and destroy actor now if i hit it it should destroy itself oh that's so cool uh, so last thing for fireball is to actually being able to shoot it from your hand so for that let's delete it from here and go to magic magic pawn and we will set it after trigger originally there is spawn emitter attached and we will simply set it to spawn actor from class that class will be of course fireball and spawn location for that we will simply take this thing and we will use our vault actor let's get vault transform split structure split structure rotation location and that should work let's test it in vr and look at that i can show fireballs from my hand and if i hit those things if i will be able to hit that i can show them wherever i want and let's see what i can do with this hey dude you know what i wouldn't want to look at that 
Oh, it seems that he's still there. Uh, yeah, the problem is that his uh, capsule seems to stay there. Yeah, his capsule is still there. We can actually just delete it. That's, that's just a little bug. And uh, after the B, we can destroy the component. Destroy component. Yep, that should be fine. All right, now let's actually do some this explosion. Look at that, we can make it magical. Like it's right now it's visually magical, let's make it actually practically magical. So functioning explosion spell, how it could work? That's yeah, I actually found a really simple trick how to make it look really cool. So let's take blueprint class, actor, and call it explosion. First of all, let's of course add here emitter. If you know how to spell emitter. Now it's actually called different particle system. And put here explosion. That's cool. Look at that. Try it in the game. And it may be my way bigger. Let's set the uh, scale to 5.5.5. But now we need to actually make it do something, right? And the thing is, if we go to event graph on event begin play, we will first of all add here collision, sphere collision, and make it a little bit little. Set scale to 0 0.1 on all axes. and make sure that it is in the center. So what now we will do is to add here timeline, set it to explosion, not that the name actually matters, and put it after event begin play, make sure it's a play from start. It shouldn't matter, but just to be sure. Uh, add here a new track, and first one should, should be set to time zero and value 0 0.1 as it is in our explosion and then create new one in about one second this oh no this one should be to zero and add curve into one second and set it to let's go with 10 that's like a crazy amount but it could work and let's click on our sphere set it to block all and make it visible so we can see what it does hidden which means disable hidden in game and take that sphere and from that we will set scale set world scale 3d and simply connect it to this new track set it after update and that should be it let's try to put it in the world and simulate it for now just here we can actually make it even faster. So let's set time to 0 0.5 even, and value could be same. And whole length should be of course 0 0.5 as well. Now simulate it, and that seems fine. That looks cool. And now because it is set to block all, let's look at what it will do if you do it here. Play, and look at that. Put it here, shouldn't matter. That looks cool. Pretty much the faster you will like uh, let it build up, the more it will move all these things. So let's delete it from here. And the last thing is to destroy it after it will be finished. After it will be finished, let's put in a short delay and then destroy actor. Otherwise that collision just would still be there and you wouldn't be able to teleport there or walk there or want anything. Okay, compile and now let's set it in our character blueprint. So magic magic pawn and we will set it simply in teleport left that is spawn emitter at location so let's get rid of it we, uh, we will spawn here actor from class connect it here into disable teleport and emitter template oh no, no, no. here spawn actor and set it to explosion uh, explosion as an actor and we of course need to set spawn transform which we will take from here which means that you need to split structure pin and take its location and rotation and to not be so messy let's delete all this okay put it here and that should be just fine all right i will aim somewhere and we will create the explosion look at that so let's try it here that looks fine that looks fun 
and I'm looking at it, we can actually even speed it up still, but I will leave that up to you. You can play with it however you want. And now let's do something with that character. I don't really like how he stands here. Like, hey dude, what do you think you're doing? Did did you like and sub this video? Oh, I didn't think so. So for that, what we will have to do, I'm afraid, is just move him a little bit up. But he has uh, animation blueprint. So let's first of all kill him and then come a little bit closer. And that's for not liking this video. That's it for this video, I hope that you enjoyed it and that you actually learned how to create some magic tricks and magic spells. And if you want to, if you want me to make another VR magic video, let me know in comments or let me know what kind of magic spells you would like to see in next potential video, third one actually, this is second one as you know. If you enjoyed it, consider supporting me on Patreon because you can get project files for this and other thing is join the Discord server because we have a, we are starting to have quite a nice community there where we all help each other. So that's about it. Sarfancy out.